Hey guys, I don't normally do videos like this, but this is such a special occurrence because it's been such a long time since Tool put out a new album. I used to be such a huge Tool fan. Uh, before I unbox the new Fear Inoculum album, let me show you this I got uh, so many years ago, about, uh, about 10 years ago probably, 9 or 10 years ago, I got uh, bottles of Maynard's wine autographed. Yes, I stood in line for three hours at a Whole Foods market in Phoenix, Arizona to get Maynard's autograph on a couple of wine bottles. This, uh, there's Maynard and this is Eric Glomsky, his winemaking partner. This is the Arizona Stronghold wine. It's empty. We drank it years ago, of course. And then here's another one from Caduceus uh, Merkin Vineyards, the Chupacabra Red 2006 California Red Wine with Eric's autograph and again Maynard's. Let's see what else I have in here. These, uh, this box has been up in the little cabinet above the fridge for years. I haven't looked in it. Alright, here's the, the corks. And uh, Arizona Stronghold. And what else we got? Uh, just the flyer from uh, the signing at the Whole Foods Market. What else is this? Oh, just a postcard I got with it. So yeah, back in the day, man, Tool wasn't just a band. Tool was a lifestyle. Oh, I still have the receipt. Spent $48 on a couple bottles of wine, which is pretty cheap compared to what some people spent, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, so uh, without any further ado, let me uh, rearrange the camera and we will unbox the new tool album. All right guys, you ready for this? All right, Tool Fear Inoculum Expanded Book Edition includes five times uh, 3D lenticular cards with exclusive graphics, expanded 56-page booklet with additional art, access card to download the groundbreaking video, uh, recusant, and, <laughs> recusant ad infinitum. All right. the download card. This is Alex Gray artwork that we've come to know and love ever since uh, Lateralis, right? His imagery has just come to symbolize everything the band stands for. Your thing, kind of like the outer sleeve of Lateralis was. It's like uh, Alex Gray's paintings digitalized. Some sacred geometry, flower of life type stuff. Whoa! Scene of ascension. Oh, it's got lyrics. Immunity long overdue. Um, does it have the lyrics for all the songs? I'll oh, check this out. Justin. Look how the star lines up with his portrait. And then on the other side, it lines up with the spiral. He's wearing like a sheriff's badge. I love this song. I've already listened to the songs before I bought the CD. Um, and boy, having the lyrics printed is something different. Back in the day, Tool never printed their lyrics in the album, and yeah, like it was the early days of the internet. And you have to go to uh, like tool, toolshed.down.net, I think was the big fan one. 
and then uh, uh, toolband.com came along uh, after that, I think, and uh, you could find the lyrics there that people would uh, would type up. Danny Carey. There's Maynard. With his mohawk. And there's my guitar hero, ladies and gentlemen, Adam Jones. I always wanted a silver burst Les, Call, Les Paul uh, because of him, but now, because of him, I can't afford it. Dichotomy of ascension and descension. Flaming Eye is a common theme in their artwork as of late. All scenes from a video, it looks like. It's got the track listing here, the band members' names, art direction, Adam Jones, of course. The great turn concept, Alex Gray, original art graphics. Okay, all right, one more pocket here, the five lenticular cards. Spiral, spiral of eyes. Oh, I remember the uh, the first lenticular thing they did was uh, Anima. Remember that one eye with the uh, uh, the two eyeballs that would roll around in it when you would move it around. And number five. Wow, it's very uh, visceral interpretation of their geometric eye shape. Kind of looks like a uh, makes me think of Meatwad from uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. <laughs> All right, this is it. This is the new Tool album. So long awaited, so much hype built up. All right, so I'm not gonna play any of the music here. Of course, this uh. This is Tools Music, but let me know what you think of it. Are you uh, are you an OGT yourself? Have has your love for Tool waned over the years, or are you just still super excited about them, as you were back when you were a teenager? <laughs> 